President-elect Yoon held a phone with the IOC chief. Next week, the incoming leader will be heading out of the capital to thank supporters and hear what can be done to help regional growth. In the meantime, the defense ministry started moving out of the building it currently occupies so the top office can be relocated upon inauguration. Kim Do-yeon brings the updates. In his call Friday afternoon with Thomas Bach, the head of the International Olympic Committee, South Korean President-elect Yoon sung yeol said he supports the IOC's decision to call for a ban on Russia from participating in international sporting events in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It was Yoon's first official call with the head of an international organization. And according to his spokesperson, he emphasized the IOC's role in bringing people together around the world and pledged to make sure South Korea takes part in that. In addition, he asked for the IOC's close cooperation on matters including the successful hosting of the 2024 Winter Youth Olympics in Gangwon-do province. Looking ahead, next week, Yoon will be hitting the road to visit areas outside the capital region. The spokesperson for the president-elect said the first goal for the cross-country tour is to keep his promise that he would bring them a victory in the election and thank the people for their support. Second is to show his commitment to regional growth. The president-elect will see him for himself what will help each region in restoring people's livelihoods and, as he emphasizes the most, how the new administration could achieve balanced regional growth and implement it as one of core agendas of the new government. The first stops are in the city of Daegu and Gyeongsangbuk-do province, home now to the impeached former president Park Geun-hye, who was recently pardoned and let out of prison. The president-elect is still considering whether to visit Park, but the situation is getting a lot of attention because while Park is from the president-elect's party, the president-elect as a former prosecutor took part in the investigations when Park was on trial for the corruption that led to impeachment and imprisonment. In the meantime, on Friday morning, the defense ministry started its move out of its current building in central Seoul, which will soon house the new presidential office. Movers were seen loading trucks and bags of confidential documents were set out to be destroyed. The defense ministry, after 19 years in the building, will be relocated to its new offices by mid-May. Also earlier in the morning, an insider on the president-elect's team said Yoon will not scrap the Korean New Deal just because the program was enacted by the outgoing Moon Jae-in administration. The insider added that Yoon knows how serious the situation is in terms of people's livelihoods and will consider any and all measures regardless of who proposed them if he believes they will help the country. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.